Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Shannon and I love rocks and gemstones and rock tumbling is one of my favorite hobbies. And today I'm going to share with you my journey tumbling sunstone from start to finished. So I'll take you all the way from the rough stage to the final polished finished product. And then at the end, I'll provide my timeline and the recipe that I used to get these um, final results for sunstone. Now, I consider sunstone to be an advanced tumbling project. And sunstone is not an optimum tumbling gemstone, but many people like it, and if you're looking for a good challenge, then sunstone will definitely challenge you. Now sunstone, the tumbling quality. Now there's faceting quality that is all one solid state piece, but the tumbling quality is a mix of sunstone bits and quartz, and it tends to chip and break apart and undercut during the polishing process. And it can be really challenging and a little bit frustrating too. However, if you're interested in just having a, a real challenge in a puzzle, Sunstone is a great opportunity for that. Now for this tumbling experience, I'm using two pieces of equipment. I'm using a rotary tumbler and a vibratory tumbler. And if you do not already have a vibratory tumbler, then check in the description below um, for the Raytech Tumble Vibe. If you don't wanna put out several hundred dollars for one of the, the larger, uh, more expensive uh, vibratory tumblers. The Raytech Tumble Vibe 5 is a really inexpensive option. No, I'm not sponsored, but it's the one I have. It's reasonably priced and I do recommend it. And so, Sunstone. It was a challenge for me to be sure. So let's get started and let me show you the rough. Today I'm starting up some Sunstone. And this is a really pale yellow, I'm not yellow, pale orange stone. It's a feldspar, Mohs hardness six. And it's, it's just such a pretty stone. It's one of my favorites, but we'll see. I suspect this is gonna be a tumble that takes a little bit of patience because You've got the orange and you've got the white minerals in there. There may be some undercutting I'll have to look for in the later stages, but I'm excited to get this in a barrel in some course today and then show you again next week. This is the sunstone after one week in course. And you could see that it's really shaped well. All of the sharp edges are gone. It's looking really nice. This is definitely ready for medium grit. And for those who are curious about the quality of rocks from the unboxing videos recently, this was received from the gem shop in unboxing video number four. And you know, I think this is some really nice quality tumbling sunstone. So this just shows you a quick turnaround of when I received it. And if you watched last week when I showed the rough and after one week in course. So I'm gonna get this cleaned up and get this in a barrel in medium. I'm really excited about this sunstone. It's looking so nice right after a week in medium grit. And these pieces of rough rounded really nicely. These just have such a beautiful shape to them. And some of these stones have a nice little flash in the light. I don't know. I don't know that the light today will catch it in here. 
these are looking gorgeous. So I'm going to get these uh, really cleaned up. Here is the sunstone, and it really looks like it's finished with the medium stage. And so without the water evaporating problem, it, it would have run in coarse for one week and medium for two weeks. And the rest of this, since I am a little afraid of undercutting, is going to go in the vibratory tumbler. So I'll do fine and extra fine and polish in the tumble vibe. And we'll see how that turns out. Oh, just gorgeous. Look at the variety of colors here. And there's some of that shimmer that Sunstone is known for. Really nice. However, you can, you can feel that the surface is a not smooth and it's got that kind of coarse feel to it after it's finished medium. It's not as smooth as it as you want for polish, but we will put this in the tumble vibe with fine and then see how it looks after that. Okay, so now I've put the sunstone in the barrel of the Raytech tumble vibe with the ceramic media, two teaspoons of fine grit and five tablespoons of sugar and only about two to four tablespoons of water. And what the sugar does is it creates a really thick syrup rather than just water and it slows down the rate of rotation and tumble in the tumble vibe barrel. So this means that the sunstone is not crashing each against each other really uh, violently, that it's a really slow movement around here, but the vibration in the barrel will still allow the grit to do its work on the surface of the sunstone. So we should have a, a smoother, gentler surface because if these sunstone knock against each other even a little bit, they are super prone to chipping. So let me get this on the tumble vibe and we'll see them again when they're done. The sunstone was in fine grit for 12 hours, just 12 hours. And that's very specific because of all of the undercutting that tumble grade sunstone is prone to. I wanted to do just the bare minimum of what I needed to smooth the surface and then stop the process, move on. And these are feeling really good. Very, very minimal feel of any undercutting. Like these, these are looking really good. I'm really pleased with how these are right now. So I'm gonna put them back in the tumble vibe and do extra fine for again, just 12 hours. So we can get the work that we need done on the surface of the stones and then move on. Here is the sunstone after 12 hours in extra fine. And I let it dry a little bit before I'll move it on so that you can see the surface of these as they're dry, dry. And um, while I do see some, some white streaks that might indicate imperfections here, when I rub my finger over it, it's really smooth. So I don't think that will affect the final polish of it. But it seems like running these for just 12 hours and moving on to the next stage has really helped. So I'm gonna give these a really good wash cycle, but not for very long, cause then I don't want them to get beat up in a wash cycle, probably about 30 minutes with uh, dreft soap or ivory soap and water in a rotary tumble probably about 30 minutes to get them clean and then I can put these back in the tumble vibe with polish and that's um, five tablespoons of sugar and two teaspoons of polish and just two to four teaspoons of water for the Raytech tumble vibe. If you have a larger tumble vibe of course the proportions will be a little different.
But let the, let's get these going and polish. All right, I've had the sunstone in polish for 12 hours. And let's take a peek at how the polish has done so far. You know, this is a, a stone that's really, really prone to chipping and cracking at any stage of the game. So the vibrance have been really short. However, it has taken a nice shine. Now the big test will be giving these a good wash, rinsing them off and letting them dry and seeing how they look. And this is one I pulled out probably about 10 minutes ago. You can still see some white in those imperfections and I don't know if that's just polish still that needs to be cleaned out or if that's the way it's gonna look, but that's what I'm gonna do now. But let me, let me pull out one more just to see. We'll rinse it off with some clean water. Dry it off. And well, I, can, I can tell my fingers are still wet. So yeah, got some good shine on these. And the surface is feeling smooth. So I'm going to give these a good burnish, but I'm going to do it by hand so that it's not agitated any more than it needs to be. And then I'll show you what they look like after. Thank you so much for joining me and watching my adventure with Sunstone. You know, it took a while to really fine tune the Sunstone tumbling uh, process, but I have shown you the steps that I think are necessary to get you to this final polished state. And I hope that this video, that you find it useful and that it piques your curiosity. And if you are interested in trying this really challenging stone, then I hope I gave you some place to start to um, be able to tumble this as well as you can. So if you are brand new to tumbling,
and you'd like to learn the basics, I do have a Rock Tumbling 101 course that I'll link in the description below. And that will describe, it's a video series and I talk about all the supplies that you'll need, where you can get your rough rocks. I talk about the different tumblers and I show a video of every stage of the process so that you can successfully tumble and polish your first batch of rocks. And if you're an experienced rock tumbler and you'd like to see how I tumble a wide variety of gemstones, then everybody make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you won't miss a single gemstone video. Thank you, and I'll see you again soon.